the pop-up. Such a key part of surfing. If you want to take off deeper, you're going to have to pop up faster. If you want to pop up just as fast on your last wave as you did on your first, you're going to have to have endurance and strength to carry you through that surf. Okay, so working on your pop-up strength, speed, endurance, agility, so key to progressing your surfing. Okay, last thing you want to do is slip or have no strength when you go to paddle into that wave, especially on steep takeoffs. So if you haven't already, go back and watch the the surfboard position, the surfboard shape we talked about, because that, tra that transfers into here as well. You've got to have that midline stability for your pop-up. Okay, we're going to be talking about a, a push-up here, because a push-up is the closest thing we can get to a pop-up on dry lands. This is the first part of the progression in a series of videos. So get this right first. So to do a, pop, a proper push-up, we'll look at how they do a push-up in, in gymnastics, okay? Because gymnastics, the agile is strong, okay? And it's very similar to the way we pop up on a surfboard, especially with the hand position. So the hand position is here, okay? Think surfboard width. We want nice wide hands, spread out hands, index fingers facing forwards, okay? And as you can see, it's about shoulder width. Center of my shoulder joint is in line with the center of my wrist. Okay, we're going to keep. So, if we look at the side, and we talk about that, we talked about in the last videos, was the surfboard shape, that hollow body position. Okay, again, I'm assuming that same position. Okay, my back is nice and curved, nice hollow body position through the underneath part here. Okay, we want to start. You want to have, you want to be here. You want the sh front of your shoulder to be over top of your knuckles. Really important. Looking at it from here, we're going to create what's called an external rotation torque force. Okay. So what I mean by that is, if the floor was really slippery, your hands would turn like this. Okay. From here in this position here, how it looks here, I'm going to wind my arms like that. So basically, I'm pointing my elbow pits forward, okay? This is external rotation. You want that external rotation force to be going through you the whole time. So if, again, if the floor was slippery, your hands would slip that way. So from there, as you can see, that keeps my elbows in. The last thing you want to do is out here, this is inefficient. Okay, the further away a joint is from your body, the harder your muscles have to work. You want to keep it nice and close, nice and efficient. So from the front view, the push-up is like so. Okay, I've got that. always winding that arm. Keep those elbows tucked in. From the side, again, that hollow body position, so important, so important. Translate your body forward, put your weight into your hands. Don't be lazy, don't be back here. Okay, weight into hands, and as you come forward, you want to load the shoulder. The shoulder is a lot stronger than the elbow, so you come forward, load the shoulder. What you don't want to do is start loading the elbow, okay? Not good, not efficient, and not, not at all similar to the way we stand up on a surfboard. So from this position, you come, you're translating forward, load the shoulder down. As you come up, everything comes up. What you don't want to do is leave your hips behind and then come up, okay? Everything moves as one, so you keep your bum tight, tummy tight, down, up, all in one unit. Easy as that. You should be able to do 10 of those in a row, moving reasonably slow. Talk more about it soon.